ChatGPT can do so much now, even more than when it first launched. Upon launching, ChatGPT could give you business ideas, but now it can literally replace your CEO if you wanted. So imagine what ChatGPT can do next year. So if you wanna save time and make your life a little easier, I'm gonna give you 10 really cool hacks that are literally mind blowing. I'm ready, are you guys ready? Let's go. Tip number one, you get much better answers from ChatGPT if you set the stage give it a little bit of context. But having to say, I am a business owner, this is what my company does, every single time is kind of annoying and time consuming. So ChatGPT just came out with this new feature called custom instructions. Here's how I'm using it. It's a lifesaver. So you're gonna head over to custom instructions here. See how there's two different boxes here? The first box is all about you. Take the opportunity to tell ChatGPT all about your business, your target audience, your product offering, really any information that ChatGPT needs to know. Now the second box is setting the stage on how you want ChatGPT to act. So for example, you can ask for it to respond as a consultant, and you can even go as far as telling it how to structure its responses, like making different topics in bold. Click enable and then hit save. So now take a look at this. Instead of setting the stage, I can just go ahead and ask it a question and it will give me a personalized response that fits my business. Here, it's giving me a checklist to make sure that my Shopify website is complete and perfect. Prompt engineering, or in other words, being able to structure your text strategically for generative AI can be game changing. Like we mentioned before, the better the prompt, the better the response. But this is a science that can get actually pretty complex and not all of us have the time or even the desire to become skilled at this. So there is actually a tool that will help you create A-level prompts. It's called AI for Work and it's a ChatGPT prompt library for business. There's even a section for entrepreneurship, but if you're facing other issues like sales, legal, and marketing conundrums, this website is gonna have you covered with perfect prompts for your needs. So let's head over into entrepreneurship. We're gonna select our role. I'm gonna choose CEO and take a look at this. Look at these categories. We can create an investor presentation. We can create an annual report and a partnership agreement. All these are super useful. Now, I don't know about you, but I have never created an investor presentation, so I'm interested in that. And let's click in on this because I wanna learn a little bit more. Now, as you can see, it's gonna ask us to create an account and it looks like it's free to do so. Now that I've done that, I can see this prompt and it is pretty in depth. So right about now, I'm pretty grateful for this tool. So there is a button here that allows me to copy the prompt and now I can drop it into ChatGPT just like this. And then yeah, you'll just go through the motions on ChatGPT to get that perfect response that you're after. OpenAI also offers a prompt engineering guide on their website that they update pretty frequently as things kind of change in the AI world. So if you wanna consult that page, just head over to platform.openai.com and then click on documentation and then on prompt engineering. Next tip, so are you a productivity addict? Entrepreneurship culture do be like that sometimes. Long emails to read, long articles to understand, long contracts to read, and the list goes on. But with ChatGPT, you can summarize any text so that you're staying productive, but in less time. So to quickly summarize long articles or videos, you can either copy paste the link into the chat or the text itself. If you want a video summarized, LinkedIn suggests that you also copy the title for best results. So how do you do this? Look, simply type in TL semicolon DR and ask for a summary in two sentences. Now I just summarized this 20 page agreement in a matter of seconds. Okay, so I found this on Reddit and thought this was genius. This is gonna be perfect for anyone that has to speak or write in a second language. So you can use ChatGPT to help you navigate interactions with colloquial language, slang, uncommon definitions, meanings of local phrases, acronyms, conjugations, all that stuff. Now, the reason this is such a powerful hack is because Google Translate sometimes doesn't pick up on these nuances. And instead of scouring the internet to find out, you know, like what a phrase means, ChatGPT has the ability to understand context and can help you find meaning where other sources really can't. So just for fun, drop a phrase in the comment section that English doesn't have a translation for. So I'll go first. In Spanish, ojo means like, watch out, like keep an eye out. And it's a cultural expression, right? But if I were to put this in Google and just translate it, it will literally just say I. But look, if I type this into chat GPT, it gets this and it gives me more context. See? 
Okay, so this hack is backwards, but I love it. Now the key is you have to reverse your prompt. What do I mean? So let's say you're making a presentation for work. Instead of asking ChatGPT to come up with a fact, you can have that fact or idea ready and get ChatGPT to come up with proof of it. This is a great way to add credibility to your work and support the points you wanna get across. Plus, ChatGPT knows its stuff, but it's not perfect and sometimes it is wrong. So having the facts yourself first and leveraging ChatGPT for supportive evidence will help ensure that your information is accurate. If you're anything like me, you have a million ChatGPT windows open and keeping track of your conversation is like a little anxiety inducing. There is a solution. It is a Google Chrome extension called Cider. It is a ChatGPT sidebar that lets you pull up ChatGPT on any tab without having to toggle between tabs. It makes multitasking really, really easy. But on top of that, it not only gives you ChatGPT 4, but it also supports all of the big names like Google Gemini and Claude Instant because the more choices you have, have, the more insights you have. So how does it work? You can pull it up just like this and treat it just as you would ChatGPT. You can even chat with images using Cider Vision. Look at this, within a couple of clicks of a button, you can find out how to cook this delicious looking recipe just from a screenshot. You know that feeling when you have to be in a meeting, but you also have other things to do, like maybe like take care of your sick kid, for example. You're probably like on the meeting, but your camera's off, you're kind of listening in, but maybe not really. And then by the time the meeting is over, you're like, what just happened? Okay, so check this out. If you use Microsoft Teams, try recording and transcribing the meeting. Then you would take the transcription and paste it into ChatGPT. You're gonna do two things. First, ask for minutes. And then second, ask for action items. Now you can be in two places at once. I said taking care of your kids, but I know most of you will be relaxing on the beach or something, let's be real. Now, every company is gonna be different in terms of policy as far as recording meetings. So just make sure that you're not breaking any rules or anything like that. If you're finding this video helpful so far, please consider giving it a like. It's a small thing that you can do that makes a big difference for me. The YouTube algorithm seems to like that kind of stuff. Now, while we're on this topic, don't forget to give this channel a nice subscribe because we have videos just like this every week that will help you as a professional and as an entrepreneur. If there's one thing that I've learned in my adult life, it's that clear communication will get you far. Being clear conveys confidence demands respect and trust. And overall, you'll come across as a more relatable person. This is especially important as a professional. However, situations can get complex, you know, emotions can get involved and it's not always so easy to distill your jumbled thoughts into clear sentences. So lately, I have been using ChatGPT to take my thought dumps and distill them to be more eloquent and more to the point. All you have to do is ask ChatGPT to make it more concise and clear in a prompt like this. This three paragraph idea about how we can improve our online sales strategy just became a one sentence message. It has one clear idea and bullet points for action items. All right, next tip. Okay, let's face it. Posting three TikToks a day, one Instagram, one LinkedIn post, a YouTube video a week, which by the way, guys, is golden standard. I am not even kidding you right now. It's just unrealistic. But luckily this year was the year of content repurposing. We're finally starting to get smarter about how we reuse content. So we're lessening our marketing workload. People are taking long videos and they're turning them into shorts. Blogs have become tweets. I'm not active on Twitter. Can we still call, call them tweets? I don't know, X's? Let me know in the comment section. <laughs> and you know what else people are doing? They're getting ChatGPT to help them repurpose their content. So describe your existing content to ChatGPT and ask for ideas on how to repurpose that content for different platforms or formats. ChatGPT can help you maximize the value of your content across various channels. Make ChatGPT your editor. Try writing a sloppy paragraph with all the necessary info. Do not worry about this being perfect. That's ChatGPT's job. Then get it to fix the grammar, the spelling, and the delivery of whatever it is that you wrote. And boom, you've just saved yourself a good 10, 20 minutes. I would say you should still read it over, but this will definitely save your brain's energy big time. Sometimes I literally cannot believe we live in a time where LinkedIn exists. Honestly, it baffles me that we have the power to reach almost any professional in the world at any time. And if you're taking advantage of your LinkedIn in-mail credits, you'll wanna craft the perfect icebreaker to stand out in an inbox. And ChatGPT is super helpful as a virtual networking assistant. You're gonna start by inputting the details about your industry. 
goals, and networking preferences. ChatGPT can generate personalized introductions, icebreakers, and follow-up messages for when you're reaching out to your mentors, collaborators, and clients. I love keeping it real with you guys. And in this video, I did zero talking about Shopify, even though this is a Shopify channel. If it doesn't fit, I won't force it. But I will take a moment to let you guys know that if you want to sign up for Shopify so that you can you know, create your own online store, I will leave a link for you guys in the description box for a free trial. All right, guys, thanks so much for joining me. I'm Michelle, this has been so fun. And I hope that you have an amazing rest of your day or night wherever you are. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.